And for the Philippines, another one of their fighters is gonna go for the gold medal this time in the women's flyweight division. It will be Irish Magno of the Philippines going up against Win T. Tam. And Win T. Tam defeating a Cambodian on her way to the final. And uh, Irish Magno of the Philippines defeating another fighter from Thailand. Let so again, Vietnam has been at the forefront of their boxing Zipers. program over the last Fighting few years. But going up against an experienced program like the Philippines, you would probably think that Irish Magno might have the edge in this one. Well, Irish Magno had a difficult time winning her semifinal outing against the Thai professional, Chit Pong Jutamas, and she won by a 4-1 split decision. Muya Titam, a tough fighter in her first Southeast Asian Games, while Irish Magno already has two Southeast Asian Games to her credit. She won a bronze medal in 2013 and she won a silver in 2015. That's Irish Magno looking for her first ever gold medal in the Southeast Asian Games. She's 28 years old. And coming in now, Nguyen Thi Tam of Vietnam. From Vietnam. And Nguyen Thi Tam. Defeated the fighter out of Cambodia to make it here to the final. So let's see what she's made of. She looks like to be like the taller fighter of the two as well. Win T. Tam of Vietnam wearing the blue in this gold medal match in the women's flyweight division. Well, an interesting sidelight of this contest is that in the 2019 Thai Open, Nguyen T. Tam beat Irish Magno by a 5 0 wow. count. And, you know, that should be motivation for the Filipina to try to get back at her tormentor. Able to get a stoppage, though, on her way here to the final. Win T. Tam of Vietnam. She will be in the blue right now against Irish Magno of the Philippines. Good start for the Philippines already with Carlo Paalam winning the gold medal in the light flyweight division. Vietnam over one so far. Their first fighter seeing action today, Donna Win was not able to get the job done against Nilawan Techa Soup, settling for the silver. So Nguyen Titam looking to get the first gold, and our referee from Indonesia, Roiki Wane, addressing the two fighters. So the Philippines going for their second gold medal in the sport of boxing, this time in the women's flyweight division Irish Magno against Win T. Tam of Vietnam. So started about right now. As we can see, Win T. Tam is a southpaw. The taller and longer of the two by a lot. That's about a three-inch height advantage. So probably with a surmise that she might have at least a three-inch reach advantage over the Filipina. Well, she's got that length. She's also slightly younger than Irish Mango, 25 years old. Magno is 28 years old. But again, we remember oh. in the first contest between these two protagonists in the Thai Open this year, it was Nguyen Titam who beat Irish Magno by a 5 0 count. But Nguyen able to get hit on the face early. So Nguyen Titam already feeling the message now from Irish Magno. Magno with another connection, then going to the body. So a series of moves being shown by Irish Magno. Well, I'm sure Irish Magno has studied the style of Nguyen Titam very carefully, considering that in their previous meeting, she lost the unanimous decision. And look at uh, Nguyen. It is difficult to fight someone with that kind of a reach advantage. And for Irish Magno, she just has to put pressure on the Vietnamese fighter. It's got to be pressure, 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 and not allow Nguyen that distance to fire off her combinations. Now, Nguyen is actually not using her defense right now, just trying to fire from a distance, and we're going to have a warning. If Irish Magno just puts her head on Nguyen's chest, there's no way Nguyen is going to be able to throw her punches. Magno is able to come in earlier, shot to the face of Nguyen Tam. And again, that length, that is 
an incredible advantage, but can she use it? Remember that Nguyen won her semifinal matchup via a second round RSC, a referee stop contest. Well, it looks like Nguyen, Irish Magna knows exactly what to do. Right. She's not allowing Nguyen to dictate the pace from distance. So she's moving in, she's parrying the blows. She's looking to counter. She and there lost, it is. Yeah, she lost a few body shots as well. The right hand. Oh. And you know the Vietnamese is a southpaw, so you want to use that right straight to but break down the defense. When Gwyn does come in, she comes in firing as well. There's another left hand connected to the face of Magno. We are doing a good job of anticipating the forward movement of Irish Magno. Final seconds of the first round. It has been interesting. Contrasting styles going at it. And Gwyn had her moments, but so did Magno of the Philippines. As we see it again. Irish Magno in her third Southeast Asian Games appearance, that time connecting from close distance with a right hand. And that's really what she needs to do. Right. She needs to close that gap in between the two fighters. And then she'll find her punching range. Again, the right hand scored by Irish Magno. Lolito Boy Velasco. But Irish Magno's big victory was in the semifinals when she beat the heavy favorite from Thailand, who is a pro yes. and a reigning WBO Asia Pacific Super Flyweight champion. It wasn't since recently that professionals were allowed to compete in international competitions. That's right. It started in the 2016 Rio Olympics. Irish Magda really needs to step in that zone of Nguyen, the strike zone, so she's going to be able to deliver her punches. Combinations unleashed once again, following the instruction of her coach, going to the head and to the body. But despite the fact that Nguyen has a, uh, has a height advantage and a reach advantage, she's also quite shifty. Irish is countering. Nguyen bringing down her guard. Now she wants to invite Magdo to come in so that she can unleash. Steps into that punch, covers so much territory when she does so that by the time the punch gets to the Filipina, it's not as effective as it should have been. But you know, this is a very different Nguyen Titam that we're watching from how she demolished her opponents yes. in the previous two fights. She's looking very cautious. She's being very careful. I think she's showing a lot of respect for Irish Magno in this fight. Perhaps not the fighter she expected to see in the final. And now the Vietnamese fighter looking to counter, waiting for Magno to come in. Magno looking to chase down her opponent. They get tied up once again. Win Ti Tam, 25 years old. Again, uh, Irish not showing Magda. any defense here. Yeah. And Irish Magda's a little bit wary because she knows that she oh. comes in. Oh. oh, big big shots. Big shots scored that time. The right hand from Magno. But Vietnamese also getting her licks. Referee having a difficult time breaking up the fighters. Pretty much the judges are also having a difficult time scoring this yes. one. Yes, it's a close one. It's clearly a close fight. So 40 seconds remaining into the second round. Nguyen has turned herself into a counter puncher here in the second round. Irish Magno of the Philippines in red. You can still hear the crowd a little noisy here, but they know they're in for a tough one for the Filipina. Another strategy being shown here by Nguyen Titam is that if Magno comes, so, uh, comes close enough to be lethal, she ties her up. Exactly. That's one way to be able to throw off the rhythm of your opponent. And the round number two. 
And in the second round, again, very close fight ongoing here. And so far in our medal count, it's Thailand with one gold medal, the Philippines with one gold medal, and connections that time by both Irish Magno and Nguyen Titam. So again, that second round was a little too close to call. But the strategy also changed a bit. And that was a right hand, yes. Yeah, this exchange. But when Nguyen Titam started to become a counterpuncher towards the end of that second round. I thought so. She was waiting for Irish Magno to come in. And here is Irish Magno. Two-time Southeast Asian Games campaign, campaigner. Guaranteed to repeat her silver medal finish in 2015. But Irish Magno is not content with the silver. She's going for gold, and so is Nguyen. So she's up against a uh, quality opponent, though, Irish Magno, against Nguyen T. Tam of uh, Vietnam. And again, any time that Magno is in striking distance, Nguyen ties her up. And there's another tie-up right there. And another headlock by Nguyen, and now Nguyen pushing Irish Magda towards the ropes. She's getting all sorts of warnings now from the Indonesian referee. Magda just cannot engage, and they're held again. And Nguyen using some uh, tactics here, like locking the arm of Irish Magda as soon as she comes charging in. And tying her up as well. And grabbing, a lot of grabbing. And that was punching out of the break though. Magno was lucky not to be uh, warned for that one. You know, at this at this point, with a minute and 40 to go, I think Irish Magno needs to take chances. She's got to come charging in and seal this victory. I think I think the gold medal is still up for grabs. Yes. Filipino crowd trying to rally around Irish Magno. Here in the final of the women's flyweight. One big flurry will win this fight for either fighter. Oh, And nice. that's a connection. Clear right hand, another connection by Irish Magno. Is she going to exact sweet revenge on Nu Yin? Titam beat Irish Magno 5-0 in the tie open this year. Another warning against Red Titam of Vietnam. As we are under a minute remaining here in round number three, the final round. And down they both go. A lot of holding happening. Here in the final of the uh, women's flyweight. Now using some side to side movement is the Vietnamese fighter. Now Magno getting some warnings as well. And a nice right hand charging in is Irish Magno. She's held again. Nguyen Titam is not able to anticipate that right hand of Irish Magno as she comes, as she comes charging in. And there's another hold. And she's getting booed now by the Filipino fans. And you wonder, who will win this fight? It's over. Both fighters raising their arms. Irish Magno. Might have done enough to exact revenge on Nguyen Titam. Titam with her reach advantage, her length, her wingspan, but really wasn't able to take full advantage of those attributes. But she also had her moments in scoring, especially that second round, which was tightly contested. Now it'll be up to the judges. And at this point, of course, it is a quality fight. Two quality opponents going at it, but this is for the gold Ladies medal. Who's it going to be? Will it be Nguyen T. Tam of Vietnam or Irish Magno of the Philippines? Here we go. After three rounds of exciting women's flyweight, we've come to our scorecards. And your winner, winning a gold medal for the women's flyweight by a majority decision from the blue corner, Vietnam. And Vietnam has won it, Nguyen Thi Tam. Uh, we thought Irish Magno might have done enough, but the length of Thi Tam. 
And that proved to be the difference as she was able to hold off Irish Magda. And now three countries have picked up gold medals in this one, a split decision for T-Town on a 4-1 count. And again, a repeating as a silver medalist in the Southeast Asian Games. Confirmation of our medals, win of Vietnam taking the gold. Irish Magna of the Philippines taking the silver medal. And here are the highlights of that fight. Again, it was a toss up from the beginning. A lot of physical attributes going the way of the Vietnamese boxer and the Filipina tried her best to negate that. But in the end, the length was really an issue and that led to this majority decision.